Hi, it's Mark and Andres from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and WinningSolutionsInc.com. And we're here today to show you our uh, forms modifying template tool, which we're really excited about. Now, the best uh, tools and are always developed out of necessity. And this one, that's how we came up for the idea. Um, Andres, who is one of our developers, and if you're a customer of ours, you may have worked with him. Or if someday you become a customer of ours, you may get to work with him on your database project, was in need of making changes to the way a large number of forms looked. And for anyone who's ever tried to do that in Access, it's a tedious, long, laborious process to do. So we're all about saving people uh, time, which saves them money so that we can deliver more value to them per dollar spent. And so having a tool that would apply the changes that we describe for the various types of things that comprise an access form to all the forms in a database, saving a ton of time has a huge advantage. So at this point, enough chatter. Let me turn things over to Andres, and he's going to kind of run through how this tool works. And to set the stage a little bit further, what you're seeing on screen right now is uh, a form uh, that goes along with some modules and then other things that are added to uh, any access database that you want to make these global form changes to. And uh, Andres, why don't you uh, show us how you um, modify the settings to change forms throughout an access database? Sure. The first thing, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, first of all, let me show you from our database how one of our forms look right now. As you can see, it doesn't look that modern. It looks with like Times New Roman, which Microsoft doesn't recommend anymore in a form. Uh, Huge CN color on top, which makes your eyes tired, and you start getting complaints from your users as a database developer in your company. Uh, so, what you want to do is okay, say, okay, so I want to do all these changes to all my forms. You might have two forms, you might have 400 forms, 200 forms, as many as you have in your database, and we'll do a global change in everything, and it will take only a couple of seconds. So I'm going to close here. Uh, I'm going to do, as you can see, we in WSI, we use very clean interface, uh, nice colors inspired by Microsoft. Uh, as you can see, it says here no theme name because we haven't set up anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm going to say that uh, I want to change this uh, to the colors that we use. I already have my numbers. So I know exactly which color I want for my form header and my footer if I'm going to use one. If for sure I want to make sure to check how it all looks when we're finished. So I'm going to say open first form in collection. That way when we're finished it's going to open the first form it finds which is going to be that context form that we just looked at and you will see the changes right in spot. So with my command buttons we're going to want to loop them like this real nice, real clean, and I also know my numbers. And if you want to copy, it will be more than flatter. We want to use our look and feel, and as you can see, it will start showing you the changes right now. So this is, if you were to run the set forms, this is how it will look, which doesn't look that nice because when you hover over the command button, it looks white. So we'll keep doing our changes. We want to do the same numbers. So we got the back color, the border color, the hover color, all the same color. So you won't see any changes. But as you can see, you already have, when you hover over, it's white. But still, we want to do the white thing and just select everything white. And say, OK. So now this is going to, how it's going to look like. When we're finished, I want to do, we always use Calibri. You can select from your list here. Uh, we always use 11, and in text boxes, as you can see here in label preview, I'm going to show you how you can do changes. Just look at it. If you want to do a special effect and say it's something 
it will change and it will do the same for all of them. But since we want a clean interface, this is how a clean interface looks like. So just black, very light borders and label preview the same color as your uh, back color in your text box. And we'll say that we want to use Calibri again at 11 points, but I, if I wanted to, I, want, I could change all of this. If I don't want to do any modifications, I could just select any of this, do not modify text box, or do not modify form header, I can use them. So what I want to do, I don't want to uh, lose these changes. So I'm just going to save my settings. I'm going to say this is uh, our WSI theme template. I'll say, okay. It's all safe. If I go here, I'll see that uh, it's right here, safe here. I can select it again, and it will give you the name here, our Dolly Sighting template. And now we, we need to do is just say set forms. So make sure that we have the open first form in collection, collection to show changes and say set forms. I will go to all forms, and here's the changes. Right, so that's just amazing. We went from that tired old times Roman font, it looked like an old access application, and now it looks like a much more new, clean, modern looking application, even though it's still good old Microsoft Access. That, that is pretty cool. Actually, since we're live, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. You, if you, you didn't notice it maybe, but we forgot to change our back color. It was the original back color. I don't want that color. So I just close my context form, go back here, I'm going to say that I want my back color to be white. Save my team again. I don't have to rename it. Go again, set forms. And that's it. Back to the way it's supposed to be. Right. There you go. It looks even better. So that's really amazing. So, I mean, it's clear that, you know, like you said, if you had 10 or 200 or 300 forms, can you imagine how much time it would have taken to go through all those forms and manually set all these colors and change everything? A lot of time. And uh, so uh, acquiring this template can potentially save someone a lot of time, and time is money. Yep. So and when you get this template, we'll send you instructions on how to do it because of the way this is set up. There is no way that it can be used in a compile access database. Uh, so you need to import certain, certain modules and tables and forms, just one table, one form, a couple of modules, one class, and do all the changes you need to do, get them out of your database, take it back into production to your users, and you'll be all set. Right. So, so you can then put it back into runtime and it'll maintain all of these changes. And then if you don't want your users to be able to play around with the modify all forms function that we've got here, uh, they won't be able to do that. Exactly. All right. Well, fantastic. Well, Andres, thanks for showing us this great tool. It was a fantastic idea that you had. Hopefully, a lot of people are going to acquire this template and save themselves a lot of time that they would have spent going through forms one by one to update them. And so uh, we uh, appreciate your watching our video here today. Uh, you can contact us here from our, our website, and that's the best way to get a hold of us. So if you happen to have found us on our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash MSX, Access expert, uh, you'll want to head over to a, one of our websites, uh, winningsolutionsinc.com, which is our company site, or microsoftaccessexpert.com, which is our target site for access stuff, which is where you can actually purchase this template if uh, you're interested, or uh, since this uh, is also embedded in that page, you may already be viewing it there, so that's great. Uh, from the page, you can contact us by email, phone, live chat if we're in the office, so plenty of ways to get a hold of us. So if you do have some follow-up questions about uh, something we, we missed in this video, go ahead and get a hold of us and we'll do our best to answer the question. Uh, if there's something you see here that uh, could be done differently or better, uh, you're certainly welcome to uh, give us a suggestion. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, have been watching some of the other videos here on our YouTube channel and are enjoying those, feel free to subscribe. Uh, Andres and I appreciate your time and, and wish you a good day. Right. Thank you.